Well, hello. My name is Sherry Carthen. I'm the founder of Change of Raiment Ministries, and I'd like to welcome you to Intimacy with God. The prophet Jeremiah writes, You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all of your heart. With all of your heart. As women, we long for that special relationship. We long for that closeness, that intimacy. We long for conversation. We long for that perfect relationship. And even sometimes those who are married, at some time they come to a point where they're longing for more. So where does this come from? Am I wrong to feel this way? Am I wrong to want to be in a relationship, to have that intimacy and that closeness? Is it wrong for me? The answer is no. If anything that is in us, anything that is pure, anything that lines up with the Word of God, if it's in us, it was in God first. And God longs for that intimacy, for that fellowship with us. When he brought the children of Israel out from the hand of Pharaoh, he instructed them that you shall serve me in this mountain. You shall worship me. You shall come to commune with me in this place. God always desires intimacy and fellowship with his people. All throughout scripture, he instructs man to come. To come closer to where he is. To come and commune with him. And so it's normal. If it's anything that's in us, in us that is right, that is holy, that is pure, it comes from God. It's relationships, the desire for companionship, it is of God. And just as we desire relationships, fellowship, companionship, God desires that with us. I was with one of my uh, sisters in the Lord and we were sitting there. And the Spirit of the Lord came in and he spoke and he said, I desire to hear your worship. I long for your worship. It's precious to me. And he said it so sweet and so, uh, so sweetly. So he longs for that relationship. He longs for us to draw near unto him. And so I ask you, how much time are you spending with the Lord? How much time? We'll look at the book of Esther. Esther 2 and 12 lets us know that Esther spent a total of 12 months desiring to meet the king, preparing to meet the king. She spent 12 months. So how much time are we spending with the Lord? How much time are we spending? Time is very important. Scripture tells us to redeem the time, to make the most of the time because the days are evil. How much time will we spend in that place communing with the Lord? Having a conversation with Him. He longs for us to conversate with Him. And so how do we conversate with Him? We do that with prayer. Through prayer. Through studying His Word. Through fasting. How much time do we spend being intimate with the Lord? Closed in. Turn off the TV. Turn off our cell phones. Just one on one time with us and Him. And when we do that, something miraculous is going to happen. The inner man is going to begin to change. We'll find ourselves with new desires, with new thoughts. A refreshing comes from the presence of God. Weights and burdens will be removed. A new countenance will come upon us. 
We cannot be in his presence and remain the same. So how much time are we spending with the Lord? So if we draw nigh unto the Lord, how do we draw nigh unto him? Yes, prayer, fasting, all of those things that we mentioned beforehand are very important. But most importantly, we must spend time in the written word of God. We must spend time in the scripture. His words, he says, they are spirit and they are life. They are spirit to penetrate our heart, to penetrate and to heal and to root out those things that are not there. And to restore those things that he desires to put us to put uh, and restore those things that he desired to put there spending time in his word the spirit roots out things that the enemy has sown in our heart things that the enemy has planted in our hearts his words are spirit and they are life life to motivate us to get us up again if we draw nigh unto the Lord, it's detrimental to our minds, to our spirits, to our psyche when we don't spend time in the Word of God. Healing, deliverance, restoration, renewal, revival comes through the Word of God, through studying the Word of God, through reading the Word of God. Fasting prayer, it's so essential for our walk with Christ. It's so essential to us becoming uh, strong oaks and trees of righteousness that he desires. But even more, we must be in the word. The written word is where he speaks to us. Yes, he can speak through another individual. Yes, he can speak through us uh, in our spirit. But if we're broken, if we're of a contrite heart, hmm, if we're heavy, we may not hear accurately. And so it's imperative that we study the written word of God. Drawing nigh unto the Lord. Find a place, a place to commune with him. Find a place, a dedicated space that you're going to use to commune with him. For me at work, I would take a little spray bottle of, of uh, sanitizer and cleaner and I would s clean the bathroom stall. And I'd go in that same stall every day. And on the third day, when I pushed the door open to go inside, there was a swoosh. What was it? The Holy Ghost. His presence was there. He was already there. Before I got there, he was there waiting for me. He longs to commune with us. He longs for that intimacy and fellowship with him. And it's in that closeness with him that we receive healing, that we receive wholeness, that we receive those things we need, that empty space is filled when we commune with Him. It's in that intimate place with Him that brokenness is repaired. So let's ensure that we're spending quality time with God, that we're cutting off everything else that we're carving time out of our busy schedule to be intimate with God. That perfect relationship that we desire. What do we do? We wake up thinking about Him. Throughout the day, we think about Him. At night, we think about Him. Throughout the day, we may call Him or send a text. When we get home, we'll call and we'll talk before we go to bed. We'll call or send a text and say goodnight. All of those things that we want to do with that person, hmm? that person that we're looking forward to do, all those things we desire to do in a relationship, let's do that with God. 
Let's do that with God. In the morning, let's greet him. In the afternoon, let's greet him. In the evening time, let's greet him. In the night time, let's greet him. Try it for a space of a week and see what happens. You'll be renewed. Your countenance, your spirit, your outlook will be renewed. You'll be made whole. You'll be made whole again. Why? Because nothing in His presence will stay the same. Anything in His presence must conform to His will. Must conform to His word. And that's peace, joy, holiness, tranquility, beauty. He wants us to spend time with Him. He wants us to become intimate with Him. And so I pray that you will spend time drawing nigh to Him. You'll spend time seeking Him. I know we want that relationship, but He wants that time with us first. He wants, the, he wants us in His presence first. And when we do that, watch God begin to change. If you've enjoyed what you heard today, if what you heard has blessed you, has strengthened you, if what you heard has piqued your curiosity for more, I'd like to invite you to sign up for the various online classes for women in ministry designed to encourage you and equip you to further the gospel. God bless.